From America's inception up until recent history, many leaders of our country, regardless of political party, have placed more faith in the people and providence than they did in big government. President John F. Kennedy famously said in his inaugural address, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. 28 years later, President Ronald Reagan said, as government expands, liberty contracts. Generations of leaders understood it is impossible for a government to solve every problem. And in fact, it often makes matters worse. Kansans have taught me that they would like government to do fewer things, but do those things better. Sadly, too many of today's leaders, like President Biden, taking a vastly different approach, spending tax dollars to unnecessarily grow government, with little focus on actual results or the future financial burden on our children. Many of Governor Kelly's proposals mirror Joe Biden's extreme approach spending money rather than cutting taxes for our families, all while chipping away at freedom, personal responsibility, and public safety. She wants billions in new state and federal spending to increase welfare for able-bodied working age people in the form of Medicaid expansion. She proposed creating a big new state agency to put government smack dab in the middle of child care. After vetoing a reform bill just last year that would have cut government red tape and given parents more child care options. And last year, Governor Kelly even vetoed a bill to ban human smuggling in Kansas. Despite President Biden's border security failure that makes our families less safe. Her agenda and actions have been a significant departure from her campaign promise to govern from the middle. Last session, Kansas Republicans led the effort to put more dollars back in the hands of Kansas families by immediately axing the food sales tax to zero, lowering income taxes across the board, and holding down property taxes. Last year, we worked hard to meet the governor in the middle by passing a sustainable plan to reduce taxes. Unfortunately, Governor Kelly chose to play politics and vetoed this measure. With a soaring ending balance and a healthy rainy day fund, we remain more committed than ever to boosting household incomes and take-home pay. Too many family conversations in the living room are centered around higher prices and economic uncertainty. Kansas families deserve relief from inflation in the form of tax cuts, not a bigger government. Republicans also favor lasting solutions that work for our vulnerable populations, things like higher medical reimbursement rates, support for community mental health centers, eliminating the intellectual and developmentally disabled waiting lists, and increasing access to care with support for charitable health care clinics. These steps actually provide better care without growing the welfare state and dependency. Limited resources should be reserved for the truly needy instead of siphoning them away to able-bodied adults who don't want to work and, and who have access to other health care options. While we're at it, we will take more action to rein in energy costs during times when family budgets are squeezed by inflation. And finally, we will be ever vigilant in combating the danger posed by communist China, cracking down on their espionage conducted by drones in Kansas, and safeguarding our farmland from foreign communist ownership are critical national security measures we can implement in the heartland. This year, with a clear agenda that puts people above politics, we will improve the services you receive from the state, like good highways and fully funded public schools, while limiting further government intrusion in citizen lives. As always, Republicans are committed to our K-12 schools. Last year, Republicans led the effort to fully fund schools raise teacher pay, increase funding for special education, and encourage education innovation to ensure Kansas kids receive the absolute best education possible. We'll do this by listening, building relationships across the political spectrum, and putting real results ahead of empty rhetoric in extreme Biden-style agendas. Freedom, liberty, and respect still mean something to Kansas. 
That's the Republican better way and our commitment to all Kansas residents for 2024. Let's keep making things better together.